Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. But before we go to Doki Doki Literature Club, I am going to sh I am going to open up the game files. So open file location. Um. Go up. Where do we go down? I don't remember. Um. Oh, I don't remember. Give me one sec. Let me check this video again. Because I, I, I literally forgot. Go up. Steam apps. Okay, so we go to Steam apps. Okay. And all your games are here. Then you click on Doki Doki Literature Club. Everything, so stuff, we go to Steam apps, apps, which is up here. Steam apps. So that's all there. Shut up. I don't need you anymore. So let's go into Steam apps. Um. Then we go to uh. Did I go into Steam apps? Yeah, I went into Steam apps. So we click on. Steam apps, and we go to, um, what? Need some assistance, please. <laughs> this is my first time ever doing this. Okay, so we go to common now. Oh, here we go. Alright. Let's check this out. Oh, look! Sayori is gone because she died. Oh, I'm scared. But, I guess let's go into the game now. And start the next episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Stop moving. It's creepy. Do do do. Do 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 Are you going to let me in that? Man! Thank you! Do 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 And there is screwed up Sayori. Alright, here we are. Uh, the, the film is using. Save the file code and start a new game. What? No! No! No, 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 no! I don't want to start a new game. Let's start a new game. Oh! What? I see the one girl wearing torches in the distance. Maybe you know how it is in it. What? <laughs> What? Oh! Oh no! What just happened? I'm scared now. It's not any really school day like any other. Morning is usually the worst, but surrounded by couples and file groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I always walk to school alone. I always tell myself about the time I met some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I probably kind of gain the effort while spending free time on games and anime. There's always an anime club or there be any girls anyway. School is, is as ordinary as ever and before I know it, I pack up my things and stare blankly at the wall looking for lots of motivation. Clubs. Wait, did I already go through this? Uh, I think I s screwed up the game. Yeah! Oh! Obviously I did it. Monica? Oh my goodness. I totally didn't... Oh my goodness, I totally didn't like, see you here. Oh, so I did start a new game. I just... Oh. It's been a while, right? So apparently we have gone through some of it. Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We don't know each other well. 
We really talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so generally feels feels a little. What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've been looking for some supplies to use in my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I might actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the possibilities around the major clubs. I feel like nothing but arguing, but the budget is productively on how to prepare for events. I might try to take something I personally enjoy to make something special out of it. In that case, what club do you decide to join? Actually, I Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club! A glitch! I'm really scared. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can, well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Nature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I don't want to make sure voice anymore until, like, I guess the end of the game, maybe? I think she comes back at the end of the game. I mean, one of the members even keeps her manga collection in the, cl in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is, is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, the mem a member's a member, right? Right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Trisha. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? How do you know all this stuff? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, there's any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't... Uh, hey, 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 Monica. Slow down there. I won't ask you to join, but if it could be very really least visit my club, and it would make me really happy, please. Um. Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. <laughs> awesome. You're really sweet, Tristan. You know that. It. It's not. It's nothing really. Shall we go then? I'll look for materials in another time. You're more important. I thought today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her. It's fairly I sold. Okay, now my soul belongs to Monica. Remember when I first started this and I like brought the camera up to Monica and like she now has your soul. That's too bad. Well, <laughs> well, that re well. Obviously, it's true. She has my soul. That's too bad for me. I generally follow Monica across the school and upstairs to the section of the school I really visit, particularly using the third year classes and activities. Monica is full of energy. Swings open the classroom door. Oh! What was that? Did you guys see that? Monica, what, what on earth is that? It's like your eyes are like coming off your body. That was so creepy. Don't do that! Don't! <sighs> stop it with all the good shit. I know, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. See where he's gone, but please, stop. I'm back. I brought a guest with, with me. Oh! I do not like that! Uh? Uh, I guess? Seriously, you brought a boy? Where did they kill the atmosphere? I don't think he was nice to me before until they already died. This is all Monica's fault. Don't, don't be mean, Asuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Trisha. Oh, we're to escape me in this situation. This club. 
It's full of incredible, incredibly cute girls. It's like I'm redoing it all again, just with that Sayori. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Nasuki. The girl with a sour attitude whose name is apparently Nasuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Nasuki. Energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Wait, Yuri's the vice president now? It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears really in my, and tim, timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Nasuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran to Trisha in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't you tell us that you that didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? It was going, it was going too well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Trisha? The girls have used this original one. Okay, so I'm kind of like repeating everything. Again, just without Sayori, and Yuri's now the vice president. So I have Sayori now. Yuri walks to the corner of the classroom and opens the closet. You know, Monica and I see he sits across from each other. Feeling awkward, I sit next to Monica. Oh, of course I sit next to Monica because Yuri doesn't exist! Wait, am I supposed to say what happened to Sayori? Should I remember her? So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here. But, we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As friend of the Lurch Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised that you aren't more, there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to, to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it when it's, it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You know, to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival not much more important. I'm confident that we'll all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Nasuki? Well, I guess. Nasuki really agrees. Such, a di such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these two. Yuri returns to the table and carries a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. Just keep the... You keep the whole you keep a whole tea set tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher just gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot, cu hot cup of tea enjoy a good book? Ah, I I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh? That, that that's not insulted, Yuri looks away. I I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea is reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least, but at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles at herself in relief. So, Trisha, what kinds of what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering I have a little read these parts of. A few years, I don't really have a good way to answer that. M manga? More I quietly to myself, half joking. Nasuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N no, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking and seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. 
Mary chooses to remember a teacup with her finger. The furies are usually novels that build up deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. After telling a good story, is such a, f a fortune in a world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on and clearly passionate about her reading. It seems like she reserved a time to sit in a moment and walked in, but it's obviously, obviously the way her eyes lit up that that she finds her comfort world in the books, not people. But you know, it's like a lot of things. Stories with deep physical elements usually immerse me as well. I wonder where Sayori is. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be so deliberately to take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely fool you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read horror. I read a horror book once. Usually, I grab something and relate to a main level. At this rate, Yuri might be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I expect that from you, Yuri. It's just your personality. I think I might have screwed up the gameplay um, of ending it earlier today. So, I think that's what's happening. I might have screwed up the game. Oh, is that so? Really, if the story makes me think or takes me to an ordinary world, then I really can't put it down. Sincerely, horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, but only a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... I see you guys start over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't, don't you, Nasuki? What? What? That idea. You leave a piece of scrap paper behind you at last club meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called. Don't say it out loud! And get that back! Fine, fine. That's sticky. You write your own poems. Well, I guess sometimes. Alright, I'm gonna end this episode here and maybe I might go through it again to see. After I see Sayori's death, I might not post this actual video. So, bye!